In this video, you will learn what is tree planner, and this video is the cornerstone which will be used for more advanced tree planner shader graphs. This video is just a sample of the ultimate 2D and 3D shader graph course that we will release soon. So before we start, I leave you with the course trailer. In this section, we will learn what is tree planner and how to apply that in Unity shader graph. So first, what is a tree planner? It is a method of generating UVs and sampling a texture by projecting in the world space. So we not sampling the texture based on the game object itself. We rendering the textures based on the world space rather than the game object itself. So the input texture is sampled in any direction based on the world. For example, we can say we want to render the textures on the X surface or the up surface of the game object, or maybe the Y or maybe the Z. So the textures will only be rendered in that direction in the world space. To have a better understanding, let's jump immediately to Unity and create the simplest tree planner shader ever can be created using the built-in tree planner node in Unity. So let's assume we have a cube I, and we want to texture it with the tree planner. So let's create new shader graph new lit shader graph and let's name it simple tree planner now let's open the shader graph and add a tree planner node the built-in unity tree planner node takes a texture as an input then it samples it three times one in each of the world xyz axes and the resulting information is planner projected onto the model, blended by the normal or the surface angle. The generated UVs can be then scaled with the input tile and the final blending strength can be controlled with the input blend. So let's create a new texture 2D property and name it main texture, then connect it to the tree planner. Also, we need to create two floats. The first one is the tiling and the second one is the blend. Connect both of those properties to the tree planner, then connect the results to the base color and save, go back to the scene and let's create a new material, apply the shader graph to the material, then apply the material to the cube. Now let's use the default checker gray texture to test this tree planner, uh, make sure that you set the blend to 1, then you can increase or decrease the tiling of the texture. But let's before assume that you want to create a wall without this tree planner. So create a new cube, create a new material and apply to that material in the base map the same checker texture so if you want to increase the size of this cube to represent a, a wall the textures will be stretched and ruined and that's what we don't need and if you want it not stretched the only way is to keep copying and moving the cubes to form a wall and that's not desirable with this tree planner you can simply now increase the size of the cube and you can get a perfect 
texture without stretching. And of course you can adjust the tiling to get the pattern you want. And above that all, it doesn't look only perfect horizontally, but also if you rotate the game object, it looks perfect vertically. So that was the simple tree planner. But what if you want to create a complex or more advanced tree planner that accepts two textures and rendered the blending between them based on the direction or the normals or a specific height like this one that we created and which helps you create the environment for any game easily that advanced tree planner shader graph will be part of our shader graph course but our dear patrons can have early access to download these project files and that's it for today's video if you enjoyed what you watched don't forget to hit like subscribe and the notification bell so you keep updated with new videos of course our dear patrons who keep supporting us generously can download all our projects which are available on patreon till next video see you soon